In this video, we will see the steps to how to create a database table. So let us see the agenda for this session. So first we will be seeing the steps to create a table and then we will see how to create and display records in that particular table itself and then we will see a general component of a particular table. So these are some of the steps to create the table. First initially we have to go to SE11 that is DDIC screen. So then there you have to select the database table radio button and in the input box we have to give the name as Z and starting from, from Z and then we can give any name as we want but the Z is important since we are mentioning it as a custom table. Then we have to click on the button create and what uh, then our screen would appear. There we have to provide the description that is short description we have to provide. Moreover we have to also provide the delivery class. For this case we are del providing the delivery class as A. So I will be explaining what the exactly delivery class is. When we have provided the delivery class we also have to specify the display maintenance allowed and then when it is done we have to click on the tab fields. So here on the fields tab we have to create our fields of the particular table. And then we have to provide the field name, the data element name, then we have to click on save, then we have to make the technical settings. So to make the technical setting, there is a button known as technical certain settings. We have to click on that and there we have to provide our data class. For this case, we are providing the data class as APPL0 and moreover the size category, we have provided it as 0 itself. So then we have to click on save and click on back. So after everything is done, we have to save our table, moreover we have to check it and then we have to activate it. So this way uh, the full structure of the particular table is completed. Then we have to, once uh, our structure is completed, we have to create some records and we have, when we have created it, we have to display it. So let us see how to create records. So here itself, there is a button on the toolbar known as utilities. When we click on utilities, there is this table content and we have to click on create. So suppose we have made these fields that is C number, C name and city. So there all these field names are coming appearing and in this field name we just pass our values. We have to pass our values and click on save. So similarly we have to repeat the same procedure multiple times and so that we can create our records in that table. When it is created we have to display. For that we just need to again click on utilities then table contents and click on display. So the last time when we are creating that uh, table contents we had to cl click on create now we are displaying it we have to click on display so here we can see all our data in the particular database table so now let us see the components of the particular table so overall when we were creating the table we had to provide the delivery and maintenance so here we had already provided the delivery class and then we had maintained our display or maintenance mode moreover then we had created our fields, data elements we have created, then we have cre also created the domains. So that part was done and then at the last when we were done with the structure of table, we had also provided our technical settings that is data class we had provided and the size category we all also have provided. So let us see what exactly delivery class is. So delivery class, it specifies the type of data that is being stored in the table. So in our case, we had provided A. So what it is A? A is simple business data that is application data itself. So we are maintaining application table by, by providing A as the type. Moreover, there are multiple other options also that is we can provide C, L, G, E, S, W. So these are different different data delivery classes that we have the option to provide in the database table. So that was uh, regarding the delivery class. Now coming to display maintenance. So there is under select option that is appearing that is display maintenance. So what it is? So it specifies that the data should be displayed or we can maintain it also. So there are three other options that is display maintenance allowed. We can display and maintain, maintain it at the same time. Moreover display maintenance not allowed and display maintenance allowed with some restrictions. So these are the three uh, available options that we can select while creating a particular table. 
so this was mainly about the delivery class and the uh, display maintenance so now when we have uh, selected both the delivery class and display maintenance then we have to select our fields we have to enter our fields and all then after that is done we have to maintain our technical settings and the technical settings screen we have to maintain that the data classes so what is data class so it specifies the physical area of a table so inside the database depending on the table we are supposed to select the required option so these are all the available option that we have we can enter in the data class that is appl0 as provided in this particular example we already provided as appl0 so it is nothing but the master data and appl1 is the transaction data and appl2 is the organization data so these are some of the options that are available for the data class so when everything is done our table is created and uh, we have the option to uh, enhance it also so with the following example we will see how to create all these steps so to access ddic that is abap data dictionary we have to go to se11 so this is the transaction code so here first we are selecting the first radio button that is database table and here we have to provide a some name that is custom database table we are creating so it should be starting with z or y let's say y custom table so this is our name of the table that we are creating so just click on create and uh, here we have to provide a short description here now let us say we are providing some short description like custom table so this is what we are providing here moreover here we have an option that is delivery class so it specifies the type of the data that is stored in the table moreover the data can be business data or system data so business data means some application data like master and transaction data so here we have the option to provide a c l g e s w so if i click here so here all these values are there so let us click application table so this we have chosen now we have data browser table view maintenance so this is the display maintenance so it specifies whether the data should be displayed or it can also be maintained so here let us choose data maintenance allowed so when it is done we have to go to the fields now here we have to mention our fields that we have to include in this particular table so suppose let us say country this is the field that we are selecting then if it should be a key field or not we can take mark it moreover this can be left blank that is initial values then we have to provide a data element we can provide a predefined data element so this is the data element for the country itself we can make a particular data element so here we can see this is a predefined sap has provided this particular data element here so for this example i am just using one field itself that is the country one so i have to save it now i i have the option to provide the package name here so let us say for this example we will be just creating this particular table in a local object we won't be requiring any package so that's done so i have saved it now we have to check it also so here first we have to go to the technical settings so here is the technical setting button here so we have to click on it and here we have to provide our data class so data class it specifies the physical area of the table inside the database so depending on the table we are supposed to select the required options so here we have the option of appl0 appl1 appl2 so appl0 is master data and transparent table so we are selecting appl0 so here we can see so this is the one and size category we can provide it as zero itself so the number of data records of a table expected so we can set the number of records that can come in this particular table number of records so for this example we are just providing some basic records in the country field so let us say 0 to 100 we will select zero here so that's done i will save it and go back again now save it here again and check specify your primary key so 
we have to specify a primary key and to specify the primary key we have just to click on the key this is it and save it and let's just check it again for any errors so here we are not facing any errors but here we have some warnings that is coming in yellow enhancement category for the table is missing so let us enhance it go to extras and click on enhancement category so here we are getting some radio buttons that is can be enhanced can be enhanced character type or numeric cannot be enhanced so we, let's say we can be enhanced so done save it and again check it no inconsistency found so this means that our table is okay no errors are there just activate it so that's done so we have created our structure of the table that we want now what we have to do we have to maintain the data in our particular table so there are two ways to maintain the data that is one is to go to utilities go to table content and create entries so the second way is tmg that is table maintenance generator so i have prepared a new video so in that particular video we will see how to create entries in a particular table with the help of tmg but in for this particular exercise we will be creating using utilities table content and create entries so country let us say in is our country we'll save it successfully created go back go to utilities again table content create entries let's say de save so we have maintained two records in our table so we can go to utilities again and to see it just click on display and execute it so here we can see we have getting two country that is de and in so this way we can maintain our data in our table so here there in this particular example or exercise there is a limitation that is we can provide the data only one by one so using tmg we can provide the data in a bulk manner so we will see how to use tmg in a different session and that's it for this video thanks for watching